My name is Sheena Curry. I'm principal here at Chico Elementary. Um, this year in planning for our school year 2020-2021, um, we've approached um, almost everything differently. We know our ultimate goal is to keep our students safe and healthy and educate them. Um, but to do that this year required us to make changes in how we operate, um, what our systems are. And that's everything from our hallway procedures uh, to scheduled restroom breaks, um, what we do outside at recess with uh, more structured rotation groups for our students, as well as spacing in the classroom. Um, in a, a variety of our classrooms, we switched out tables for desks to allow for more spacing, um, as well as our practices up front for how we sign in and how employees um, also enter in the building um, in the back. So really every facet of, of how we've approached uh, our interactions and um, just conduct ourselves um, has changed uh, due to COVID-19. So on the floor here, um, you'll see that we've got um, just our Chico logo, um, but it's really for spacing in the hallway. They're face, uh, spaced six feet apart, um, all the way down through all of the corridors. And you'll notice on the sides, uh, we have the same thing, but they're not um, directly across. They're staggered uh, to promote more distancing. Um, and they allow for us to have traffic um, both ways or one way at certain times of the day where the teachers um, can spread the class out and monitor well. Yes, on the water fountains here, you'll notice we've got the water fountains covered. Um, this year, just for utmost safety, we're going to be doing our water breaks inside the classroom. We've got insulated um, igloo containers we'll be filling with ice and water daily. Um, and we'll have disposable cups, so we don't have to worry about uh, cleanliness of water bottles and how students use the water fountain um, here in the halls. Oh, uh, the signs. Our building, uh, you'll see various signs. We've got several kid-friendly signs that just reinforce um, that we're not sharing supplies in all of our classroom. Uh, we're using individual supplies, the use of sanitizer uh, frequently throughout the day, um, how we should um, approach sneezing and or coughing, um, and then of course, appropriate mask wearing and how we wash our hands often and don't touch our face. So all of these things will be uh, going over heavily at the beginning of the year and continuing to remind uh, students throughout the school year um, for their safety and everyone else's. Um, and then we also have district signage as well on the opposite walls at various points. Um, just to let any visitors that we do have um, our people coming into the building know that we take this seriously. Our building is regularly disinfected, um, as well as um, our signs that promote social distancing. And this is a shot of Miss Sanders' classroom. She teaches uh, first grade here at Chico. And unlike previous years, um, some of the other pieces that will be in place this year, students will, in addition to having breakfast in their classroom, um, also have lunch in their classroom. Uh, just to kind of allow them to distance more and just stay within that group of students uh, to prevent any kind of cross and spreading um, of COVID. Uh, and then we'll also have our specialty teachers visit the classroom. So art and music, our counselor um, will come in and conduct their lessons. Um, of course, they'll be outside for PE and get all that, that fresh air. That'll be good uh, for them. But those are some additional changes we've made um, in our building and how we typically operate. Just tell me a little bit about your room, Ms. Sanders. Uh, my room is set up to maximize social emotional learning. So um, we have flexible seating. I have a light filter um, and yoga mats for kind of calming meditation. Um, get your wiggles out in a way that is as socially distanced as possible uh, for first grade students. Someone very special is also going to be here with you. Yes, Maddox is my three-year-old grandson, and um, he will be in Miss Holland's room. So I wanted to come see what she's got set up for them. How will he be safe and, and enjoy being a, a kid, too? It's so important. So what, what, are, what are your thoughts just at first glance? I know you obviously have a lot of confidence in your colleague, but... I do. She used to be my intern. So, <laughs> yeah. so I have a lot of confidence in her. The room is very calming and it's nice. Yeah, I think it'll be... He will love it. So 
um, lucky to have one of my grandparents yes. to be someone that I learn from and can trust and lean on. So it's really comforting to have that. Okay, so we have different centers that they go to. They get to play. Um, like the one behind you is library. Then we have the block center right here. And then over here is housekeeping. They really love this center where they get to pretend to be mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, baby. They love that. And they love cooking, I'm sure. Oh, they love it. <laughs> and this center over here is science. And there's a light table that they love and some ramps. They get to experiment over at the science center. It's popular too. Over here in this corner is our safe place. And this is for... If kids are feeling a little sad or lonely, um, they can come over here and we teach them how to help work through those emotions. So we have a little safe place over here. And then this is usually where we have like a big circle time. The kids would be on the carpet and I would be um, in my chair reading a book, teaching. But this time it's gonna look a little different this year. We won't have all the kids at the carpet. I'll just have pods. So the pod that her grandson will be in will just be him and two other that's in his pod and I'll read them a book, teach them, do our letters and stuff. Um, and then I'll go to the next pod. And then in between centers, we'll be cleaning the centers. Like there'll always be an empty center open so I can move one pod to the next center and then we can clean that last center out before the other pod gets moved in. We normally clean in pre-K and wash hands all the time anyway, but it's just even more so um, hand washing more and cleaning the toys and everything um, in between each pod instead of a couple times a day or at the end of the day. It's really more to keep them safe. And then also just um, making sure to watch our kids, you know, for any symptoms and they are getting their temperatures taken at the beginning of the day and in the middle of the day if need be. Um, but those are just extra things that we're doing. We are doing everything that we can to keep these babies okay. What I would like to say to parents is, is that no matter what option you choose, whether it's in person or virtual, is to know that um, our staff here is extremely committed um, for the best learning environment for your child, either online or at school. Um, they've worked all summer uh, putting the best ideas forward and us taking everybody's ideas and making what we believe to be our safest plan available uh, for your child if you choose in person. And we're also committed to constantly growing, learning and adapting those practices um, so that we can better meet needs if we find that, that things need to be adjusted uh, based on whatever's happening in our community. So just know that we're extremely committed um, and that, that we strongly empathize um, with the tough decisions that you had to make, face this summer. But we're looking forward to a positive start to the year and, and we are all looking forward to seeing the kids, whether it's gonna be in person or virtual, our teachers are excited. So we'll have a great year um, here as Chico Chiefs.